Hey guys, I'm Jeff. Uh, I'm a parent. Uh, when my kids are taking a break from watching TV, uh, we play games together. And uh, the game they love to play is cops and robbers. So my kids are always the cops and I'm, and I'm always the robber. And the game basically goes like this. Daddy, you're a robber, you're a criminal. And then they pick up sticks and just start hitting me repeatedly. <laughs> and I'm like carrying in the room like, this is police brutality. And they're like, yeah, you don't have rights. <laughs> we don't care about you, you smell. I'm like, what has smelling got to do with crime? But anyway, it's brutal. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. It's so mean. Like, I never get a chance. I never get to be the cop. I never get to hit them with a stick. It's just, it's, hor it's horrible. I'm always the victim. It's just, it's unfair. So I've created a new game. It's called Cops and White Collar Criminals. So the cops come around the corner, they come around the kitchen, like, Daddy, you're a criminal. I'm like, wait a second, Daddy's a white collar criminal. You can't even speak to Daddy. You have to speak to Daddy's PR agent and his lawyer. If you call Daddy a criminal again, I'll sue both of you. We've been playing quite a lot lately. Um, you know, they, 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 they kind of enjoy it. They come, around, they come around the other side of the kitchen. Daddy, you're a criminal. I'm like, actually, Daddy's done a, done a deal with the uh, Department of Prosecutions and Daddy's actually ratted out the other board members, okay? <laughs> so they're all going, they're going to prison for a long time. Daddy's going to be on his yacht. So if you want to find Daddy there, you're going to have to get on a dinghy and find me. Daddy's going to be somewhere in the South Pacific, making, a, making eventually to the Cayman Islands. That's where Daddy's going to be. Daddy, you're a criminal. You're going to prison this time. We're going to beat the system. I'm like, actually, Daddy's moving to Spain. So there's no extradition. If you want, if you want to see Daddy, he'll be in Barcelona. <laughs> uh, my kids uh, love watching TV when we're not playing um, cops and white-collar criminals. They love, uh, they, love, uh, they love a show. Like, they love a lot of weird like, kids shows. And kids shows are weird these days. Like, I don't know if I remember this when I was you know, young, but kids shows are really, really strange. They, look, they watch this show every day, it's about a red talking car. And you're like, okay, it's pretty standard, you know, cars, Lightning McQueen. It's not that show. I think this show, it's called Blaze. And I think the writers of this show have like put in this sort of like subterranean metaphor, you know, to, to, to try and like pro program my children. So it's about a red talking car and he looks down the barrel of the camera every day and goes on adventures and he looks at my kids and millions of kids across the world and says, let's blaze, gimme, gimme, gimme some speed. No, I saw, some, I saw some weird kids shows when I was young. I used to watch a show about a man who was essentially naked who just wore like um, lion underpants who talked to a skeleton who was ripped. I watched that every day. I watched a news reporter talk to, uh, talk to turtle people and a talking rat and a man with a real grill over his face. But I'm pretty sure that no, that no uh, cartoons sold drugs to me. So yeah. So. All right, thanks very much. I'm Jeffrey Charles.